reenactment of an historical ceremony to a place where history is always being repeated. Here, at a famous North London firm of geographers, 60,000 globes of the world are made every year. How the real world began has always been a fascinating study, but there's a set method of world making at these workshops, a complicated craft dating back to 1492 when the first known globe was made. Round a solid ball of wood is built up a hollow shell of stiff paper, which is then coated with plaster. Nine separate layers of plaster are applied to a thickness of one-eighth of an inch. Moulding takes about six hours, and a fine, smooth surface is imparted to the world in miniature. Once the globe is set and dried, it passes to another department where the covering map is pasted on. Like restoring the skin to a peeled orange, the coloured printed sections exactly cover the surface. But the covering process calls for a keen eye and steady hand. A fraction of an inch out will put the world miles out of joint. The globes come in a large variety of sizes and purposes, from an inch in diameter to six feet, and ranging in price from 16 shillings to a thousand pounds. The different types of globe include celestial, political and relief, or slate-coloured spheres for use with chalks. In keeping with their subject, the globe makers have a world market. 90% are made for export. They're printed in all languages, including Russian, and the majority go to schools. From first to last, the complete job takes 15 hours. A final coat of varnish adds a protective shine. Nearly a hundred of the staff have been there for more than 30 years. While the rest of mankind does its best to blow the world up, they like building a new one.